I hope you all had a very good Halloween and I hope you've had a good week. Um, <clears throat> so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the research paper. So first of all, give yourself a big high five because you have made it through the comparison essay, uh, which I feel like sort of gets us over the hump of the course. Uh, and now we're going to move on and talk about this research essay. So first of all, um, I know that you, some of you have uh, bounced some topic ideas around with me. If you're still undecided, it's time to decide. Um, so certainly get out and do some preliminary research on the topic that you want to work with or think you might be interested in working with. Um, First of all, uh, the research essay, um, you want to make sure you pick a topic that you can argue with logic and research and facts. Um, this is not the time to really pick a topic that is uh, solely an emotional decision or to argue about something that's a matter of preference, whether something, uh, you know, whether one musician is better than another, whether one color is prettier than another. These are not the kinds of things to talk about here. Uh, I recommend taking a problem solution approach to this essay uh, that is identifying a problem that exists. Uh, making a case uh, that that what you have chosen really is a problem and then posing a solution. Um, <clears throat> So you will be for this week creating your research proposal, uh, which is pretty simple, you know, just um, giving me a good idea of what you're writing about and why and how you plan to go about that. Uh, again, I do recommend that you do some preliminary research. Uh, seeing what's out there uh, is very helpful. For this essay, you will, of course, be focusing on um, good uh, scholarly sources, so some more of those journal articles. You're welcome to carry out an interview with an expert in the field that you're writing about. That's perfectly acceptable acceptable and encouraged if you have the ability to do that. Um, you can use some additional reputable uh, news sources, um, but I do encourage you to stick to the um, things that you can find through the library's databases and especially focusing your attention on uh, scholarly publications. So um, I know that looking at an assignment like this can feel a little intimidating. This is a longer essay, um, and I but I have broken it down so that you have some steps to take as you head toward the final product. Of course, first is going to be the proposal. Uh, next week, we'll be moving on to uh, work on your annotated bibliography. Uh, after that, there's going to be a sentence outline. And I encourage you um, later in the month, once you're working on your draft, to have a conference with me. Um, we can do it in person, but you can easily do it using Collaborate. Uh, I can send you a link to my meeting room. You'll send me your essay. I'll pull up the essay online and we'll go over it together and I'll put comments in it and send it to you. Um, this will help you a great deal. The other thing I'll go ahead and mention now, uh, the rubric for the research essay is very detailed. If you do all the things I've asked you to do and you do them well, you will get a good grade on this essay. Uh, this essay counts quite a bit more than the others for the course. Um, the research essay units, um, the essay is 25% of your grade. Um, this really is the time when you show me that you know how to do all the things that we've been working on. Um, so another kind of housekeeping things, um, I am behind, I am behind on grading and I'm sorry. Uh, it will be a little while before I'm able to get your comparative essays back to you, um, but I will work on them and, and get them back to you as soon as I can. So I hope you all have a great weekend and uh, if you need help, if you're struggling at all, please get in touch so I can help you. Take care.